So in this tutorial we are going to be having a quick look at the rather exciting sounding Wax Video plugin Shatter Image, which as the name rather enticingly implies, allows us to shatter an image or video clip. Now once again, just for the sake of speed, we're going to use an image. Another very nice Transformers picture, as I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, anyway. Doink. Drop down. So, what have we got in Shatter Image? A fairly comprehensive list of options here. Subdivision level, regularity, force, gravity, random rotate, perspective, rotate X, Y, Z, pivot X, Y, Z. Now, go through these. Subdivision level ranges from 0 to 16, and that is not, I hasten to add, not the number of pieces this image is going to be uh, subdivided in to. We'll have a look at that once we have a look at the next two that are most important for shattering an image. Regularity. Um, how regular the shapes are, you know, regular intervals, regular sizes, that sort of thing. Defaults to point and that should be ample. And force. Force, as in the force of each shattered piece being flung away. So using the, to, just to give you a quick example, using subdivision level 4, regularity point 8, there we go, we're at, so where are we at, point zero three of force, and you see the cracks have started to appear. Now we're just completely regular, As you can see, reducing regularity all the more. Completely irregular. You can see as we increase the force, there are ooh, all well, it's all sorts of weird shapes and such like. So put that back up to point three. Reset that. Gravity. is basically the pull of gravity if this was a flat plane you know on a if this was you know a wall or a mirror or something on a 3d plane yeah, gravity and they all tumble down into a pile random rotate well Yeah, well, is what does what it says on that perspective. That's something that really that's all which only comes into its own if we were to start rotating it along an axis. So that one, and we'll just up that a bit. So there we are. We rotated it, every rotated everything on an axis. Perspective, psych. Random. <laughs> there we go. What else? And again, pivot. I've just um, doesn't seem to do much, does it? But yeah. So let's quickly animate this, just so you can get a better feel. We'll just give it a subdivision. Well, just so you actually, so just so you can see. Shatter that a bit. So this is subdivision level four, subdivision level seven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So it's basically just how much you want it shattered. But for the sake of speed, we're just going to keep it subdivision level four and regularity 0.8. So, just to create an interesting thing, uh, let's try have another smooth animation. And just before the end, we want that to be so shattered it is no longer on the screen, which it won't let us do, which is rather frustrating. But there we go. 
It's practically there, I suppose. Don't get back to the start, and we'll have some fun with random rotate again. Smooth. Just get up here. Don't and just random rotate as high as it will go. Three, two, one, shutter. So yeah, that was Shutter Image. It's not, as with so many of these plugins, there's not a great deal more I can say, except have fun finding interesting things to do with it. Right, so in this tutorial, we are going to be looking at the Wax video plugin, Pixel Stretch, which, as the name and the handy little description down here rather suggests, stretches pixels by a specified amount in any direction. So we go to our media pool and we'll add an image. Uh, let me use that one, I think. And I've already altered this to shrink it a bit, but. Ah, uh, yeah, that's again quite a nice picture. <laughs> Wanna lay bets we don't see this game before the world ends? <clears throat> so, drag drop. And it's handily started to stretch some pixels. Now, I've, I've been playing about with this. <sighs> Bummy for some time, and I'm not entirely sure where the X1 and 2 or the Y1 and 2 markers actually are. I think they might be over here, somewhere off screen, somewhere. So it's you know picking a this well a part of the thing and it's stretching it out to that particular thing because these are what you've used to manipulate this somehow. So we're manipulating the marker X1 Woo, to do that, the marker Y1 to do that, X2 to do that, and the Y2 to do that. Let's double click on these to reset them to factory defaults. Target X and Y, I'm, another thing, I'm not 100% sure about where it is, but I think best I can tell it's just basically a way of saying we either want it to stretch the pixels from the central, you know, uh, stretch the pixels rather from this half, or if we go below 500, so 500 is to zero, anything below that, we're stretching things over this side, anything above 500 is stretching pixels that side. Type Y, just allows you to flip flop up and down quite uselessly, <laughs> really. Obviously, dead center means no going Y, whatever. Uh, suppose I'm going to make that 500, and then. Uh, stretch that anything? No, alright. Okay, now force is the most interesting one here because it's currently set up 1.0, so that's full force. If we were to reduce it to zero, no force whatsoever. Now, do you see the pixels starting to stretch as I slowly streak it over? Diablo! <laughs> so that's force both sides as the then rather suggests check that box and it will do it for both sides of the image transparent outside we'll check that so that when we use the Y markers to do something or other right it's completely transparent so if we were to make it transparent we get that sort of effect um and that's <laughs> basically it for pixel stretch. I mean, I suppose depending on your image will depend on the sort of effect you can uh, create. Um, I suppose that doesn't look too bad. But yeah, I'm sure you'll have fun thinking of interesting things to do with pixel stretch. Not the longest tutorial, but now you know what it does. Um, yeah. Um, 
that's it. Not much more I could say about Pixel Stretch. Have fun with it, and I'll see you next time.